Hey guys, it's Nikki with Nikki Speaks, and I am back with another video. But before we get into some things, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. So if you saw the title, you know what it is. Let's go ahead and continue with this Drake and her story album that he just dropped on yesterday. Look, it's been causing all kind of controversy from him and the things that he said about Serena Williams and her husband to the verse about Meg and being lying about being shot. And now I Spice coming out and pretty much confirming the whole line that Drake said in his song. She a 10 trying to rap. It's good on mute. Listen, she came out and pretty much confirmed that Drake was talking about her. She did respond and say, at least I'm a 10. Listen, I don't know anybody who is going in and pretty much giving credit to something that nobody even knows is you anyway, especially when it's something derogatory. She could have just stayed on mute and <laughs> been quiet. She did not have to confirm for us that it was her. He did not mention her name, but her pretty much saying, at least I'm a 10, kind of proves that, listen, he was talking about her. Now, if you remember him and um, I Spice did link up a few months back, right after that link, a day after, he did unfollow her on Instagram, which had a lot of people talking like, okay, what went down? You had some people saying maybe she was stink. You had some people saying maybe she didn't give up the cookie, you know? So a lot of people was trying to figure out, okay, why did Drake immediately unfollow her? And listen, he's saying she's a 10 trying to rap it's good on mute to me i think that's kind of being petty and that's kind of how guys are when you don't really give them the play that they're trying to get so i'm thinking that drake is also confirming that maybe he flew her out or she came out to see him and he didn't get none so that's what i'm thinking that's what i'm assuming you guys let me know what you think down in the comment section but let's go ahead and get right into Mr. Sean Carter, who is better known as Jay-Z, who's better known as The GOAT, he recently, on his official Twitter page, did like a, um, allegedly liked a tweet from Ma Mark Lamont Hill. So this is what the tweet says. It says, if Drake released a song with clever wordplay that mocks the shooting of a male rapper or any man for that matter, the same people defending him would be outraged. But of course, he would never do that. So it looks like uh, an account that we do know is Jay-Z's did like that tweet. Now, again, it's alleged because when I went in to take a look, it looks like it is no longer liked or it has been unliked. I don't see Jay-Z unliking something, so maybe he liked it by mistake. Or maybe he agrees because, as you know, he is um, Meg is signed to his um, his management company. Meg is good friends with Beyonce. They are both from Houston, and they've kind of taken her under their wing, especially with her being, you know, so vulnerable at the time when she came in the game, just losing her mom. So they do have a really great relationship. So I can see Jay Z being protective. However, we don't know for sure what happened here, if it was a mistake or not. But shout out to Got The Scoop on Instagram because they did catch this. You guys let me know what you think down in the comment section. And I'm going to talk to you guys on the next video.